Your feet fly fast, my friend. Any luck with those tools? Blessed Gerdul, I thought I'd never... We'll I grab the, the hammer. The clincher. Once we move, keep the patrol. We'll move. And then I will not move. So. <laughs> Make way. Bow, or you break. Blasted chains! Keep the bastards off me!
Asshole fucker. It's good to go. All that's left is to ship off. My plan for now is to hide out on the water. Unless you have a better idea. Something survived in this hellscape. You should have led with that. See you there. Not reaction. What's cooking? All right, save them. Give you a quick second.
Dáme mají zůl dneska. See any movement out there? Too dark to tell. Made it. Well done. As if there was any doubt. Now, was there something else? You forget. It was I who planned every step of our escape. But even Braun deserves recompense. Here, this should suffice. I have plans in Baldur's Gate. The work of many years' labor that will finally bear fruit. You should look for me once we're in the city. The name Wolverine Bongle will be mentioned among many. I've little doubt. That's Iron Hand gnome business. You recall stories of the Iron Hand gnomes, a talented group of inventors who were banished from Baldur's Gate. Do not speak of a story you only know the half of. We are inventors of the highest order, matched, perhaps, but never surpassed by the Gondians at the High House of Wonders. But our forebears were foolish, complicit with Saravok's madness over a century past. And so, we were banished. We still are to this day. The very one. It's the only mistake the Iron Hand gnomes ever made. And it cost us everything. I have fought tooth and nail to restore our reputation. Particularly against the Gondian detractors who live in glass houses. Our return to Baldur's Gate will usher in a new era for the Iron Hand gnomes. The realm deserves the benefit of our genius. Appreciate it. Then we have to do as Roland says and sit tight. So now what? We just wait. I hope the true soul comes through. I know. Yes, hey, give me that money. If we're called, we join the fight against Ethel. And with the true soul, we will land the final blow. Herman, is that you? Traitors among us. A child taken. And still I can only feel relief. If they had taken Isabel too, I... Honesty will serve you better than charity. I blundered into their trap, and it cost us. You have the honor of making up for my mistake. I trust that you will. Then speak. Ugh. Some crusty ballad monger, I expect. They have me slaying gods, or laying with them, depending on the bard. You'll have to sing that one for me when all of this is done. In any case, it was a lifetime ago by now. And for all our victories, we remain on the back foot. We fight, we die. And we just hope that when our time comes, there is someone else to take our place. <laughs> no need of that. Every harper is a bard unto themselves, I'm afraid. Help me root out this cult. And they can spin stories about you for a change. You've forgotten what's at stake. 
Your iron hand knows. Take a moment, Bran. Act Save like our victory over the Dryder. I like how they just act like nothing happened, even though they just killed a bunch of them. But I guess they would have to find that. But when the time is right, the absolutists will feel the sting of my blade. of these prisoners to die in mortal Ugh. combat was stolen from them. What a nightmare! Oubliette, right beneath the towers. The colony must be close. That must be where the tadpoles are coming from.
my path be true? No surrender. these mortals be. Wonders. What a charmer. Hey. Leave that horror show behind. That might be worth a look. I forgot a chest. What's up, my dude? How you doing?
Pretty good, pretty good. No complaints. Yeah, agreed. I just macked on some nuggets. Some chicken nugs. Enjoy the view. This feels like a stretch all the way to the Sea of Swords in a clear day. If this place ever gets a clear day. Interesting. Not much out here at all. I mean...
Oh, interesting. Alright, well that's cool. We did as we was told, General. Followed every order. The facts suggest otherwise. You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so. Us? No, no, it was Minfara. She got the orders. She... Enough! A blast of mental energy washes over you, filling the room. Your tadpole squirms, uh. urging you to obey. You failed to retrieve the artifact. You failed to protect your true soul. You do not deserve to live. General! Please! General Thorne? Let our newest arrival speak. You have seen what these creatures are capable of, and you have seen their inadequacies, isn't that so? What is your judgment? You know I'm loyal! Tell him! Enough! True soul, tell the General how the goblins served our cause. The absolute faith without action is anemic, sickly, in a word, useless. We are too close to the ending and the new beginning. I can coddle failure no longer. Kill them quickly. What? No, you creaking old bag of shit. I'm so sorry, my lord. She's an unbeliever outside my control. Try again. as you see fit. Or better yet, put that true soul to use. You have far more important matters to attend to. Or have you forgotten? Of course not, my lord. Thank you. You heard the general. The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you wish.
They are yours. You can release them, kill them, or feed them to each other for all I care. Just deal with them. Here, in the seat of the Absolute's power, your authority over them is complete. They will obey any command. Report to me upstairs when you're done. Please! You gotta help me! For old time's sake! Enjoy this, ain't ya? Want another? Easy dubs. Raj O'Blaudra, trader in all things occult. A very great pleasure to meet you, true soul. Should you be interested, I have a particular offer I'd like to make. But plainly, I'd like your blood. A vial of true soul's blood, specifically. With one drop, I can brew a rather potent potion for you. The rest, I keep for myself. Research, naturally. We Abloodras are simply curious by nature. Just a little prick and it's all over. Close your eyes. There we are. All of your very best traits. In a bottle. Use it well. And, if I may, would you have a moment to discuss another more personal matter? Truth be told, I heard tell of your coming before you arrived. Catherick's dogs prowl far and wide round the tower. I know you travel with a delightful Nightwalker in your retinue. Please. I have a proposal for him. I will reward you both, handsomely. I will speak of it when he is here, not before. But it will be to your advantage, I promise. That is not a name which has ever passed my lips. I am a friend to you. I wish to be a friend to him. I... I must prepare myself for his arrival. Oh. 
All right. Good evening. I'm here on behalf of Gale of Waterdeep. He wishes to extend you an invitation for a private conversation in a more suitable locale. Perhaps later she'll be too late. I would urge you to reconsider, lest the opportunity... Gladly. Simply follow yonder path and soon you will... Need something? Dal, lead on. Good evening. I'm here on behalf of Gale of Water. Perhaps later she'll be too late. I would urge you to reconsider. Shame. These lands, no matter. She wishes for Kethric Thorn to be punished. Her darkness was a blessing offered before he betrayed her. She can redirect her powers. He's trouble. Worse, he's a traitor. Whatever loyalty he had towards Lady Shah is long gone. It would please her greatly to see him meet his long overdue end, I'll wager. Greetings. I sought to reach a Githyanki crash and be rid of these tadpoles. Now we stalk forgotten lands haunted by darkness. I'm going to find my people. If you have any sense, you will follow. You consider your options, knowing that should Lazel depart alone for the crash, she could fall to the curse. Threaten Lazel of Kalir. How unusual. How satisfying. You bared your teeth and sprayed your venom. A threat to be savored. Very well. Let's see what this moonrise illuminates. I'm listening. That worked out better than expected. In my years as the Blade, I've witnessed countless cruelties, faced unimaginable evil. But Thorn, he is made of pure hate. The Sword Coast will rejoice when the bastard's fallen. My father is somewhere in this tower. I won't leave him in Thorn's hands. And lest we forget, we've a devil to rescue. Two missions, one destination. <laughs> Not in a mere prison cell, certainly. My guess, Thorn will have confined him in the bowels of the tower. The deeper we dig, the closer we get. Where I can already feel a change in the air. Like the curse itself knows its time is short. Good evening. 
I'm here on behalf of Gale of Waterdeep. He gladly. Simply follow. this time of night. There's an almost reverent silence that accompanies the peak of darkness, when you'd almost believe the dawn will never break. The cradle of eternity. The timelessness of lovers. That most beautiful of fantasies. Indeed. The curse is still present, of course. Just veiled and at arm's length for now. Not a trick I can repeat often, but tonight... Tonight is different. This may be my last night alive. I wanted it to be under a canopy of... beauty and wonder. I thought this place might bring me peace. I thought it might make the weight of what I must do feel a little lighter. But I'm not so sure. Thank you. But even if we do find another way, perhaps this is the right way. The end fate wishes for me. There is no point in running from the inevitable. Better to meet it on my own terms.
Yes, but there is so much to live for and so few moments in which to house it all. Damn you. Damn you for giving me so much to care about, our friends, our adventures. <laughs> this would have been so much easier if it was just me, but it isn't. If there is a way, any way, to save all that's grown dear to me, I want to seize it. I just cannot fathom what that might be, other than to fail Mistra and condemn the world. Stay with me, will you? I don't want to think of it anymore, but I don't want to be alone either. I was hoping to speak to you, as a matter of fact, about the night you were kind enough to keep this melancholy wizard company. I wanted to... to thank you. I was sinking into a dark place, but you reminded me there is still light in the world, and I should care to look for it. You... you may well have prevented me from doing something very rash in the near future. I count myself lucky to call you a friend. Hmm, careful. I may just take you up on that. in real life. I read about your kind for so many years, but you are a finer specimen than any beastry could describe. You're really a vampire, at least one of their spawn. Oh, don't worry. We're all friends under the absolute. I won't bite. Oh, I'd prefer if you did. And he's yours to command. My envy is palpable. I'm sure he really believes that. How utterly adorable. Do you have a name, Spawn? Uh, Astarian, but, but hold on. Good. Now, Astarian. I've dreamt of being bitten by a vampire since I was a young girl. Uh, I'm sorry, you want to be bitten? To feel your life's blood slipping away. To dance on the edge between life and death. Yes, I want it. I'll even compensate you. A potion of legendary power that forever increases the strength of the one who consumes it. It's not for sale. But it's yours, if you bite me. I will have to decline. <laughs> Excuse me? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and you're squandering it. I gave you my answer. Uh, can't you talk some sense into your obstinate charge?
I'm sorry, but could you excuse us a moment? Are you actually asking me to do this? Trading me for some, some, some potion? Because there's something wrong with her blood. I can smell it from here. It's rank. I can't say. It just smells wrong. Unnatural. Drinking it wouldn't kill me, but it would not be pleasant. I don't have all day, true soul. Very disappointing. Thank you. I appreciated that. How can I help? There's room for adventure, but no oh, There's gotta be a better way to manage this. Well, hello. What can I do for you? Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I... it sounds... What's on your mind? With... Lovely day, this. For now. dripping from the walls is alive organic anyway Whatever's dripping from the walls is alive. Organic, anyway. True soul. 
Do you use a spoon to stir the soup, Barnabas? Forget the axe, my darling. Now, how can I help you? Soft and sweet as pudding, isn't he? He no longer remembers his life in the wild. That is the gift the Absolute gave me when I stood before her. To rewrite the lives of her faithful. Make them believe there's something better. She gathers many threads for her design. But it is still her design. And Barnabas has found his place in it. Observe. Barnabas, sweetie, come show what a good boy you are. What would you like him to do? with civilized speech, but he's been practicing. You feel her will surge outwards and envelop the creature, inexorable as the tide. Save here real quick, and I'll be right back. <laughs> 